Hey what's up guys it's Apol Uchia here back with a new movie the name of this movie is what if naruto was got a destruction and was exiled and came back to destroy konoha and yeah guys it's an unscripted movie as well now before continuing this i would like to give shout out to Uzukage for suggesting me this idea aside from that i'm really happy today to tell you guys that potato has finally retired i mean my pc He's retiring now from his job. <laughs> this will be the last gameplay that you are going to watch on this PC because yeah, I'm building a custom build now and it's turning out good. I am not going to reveal the specs now. It'll, it'll be a little secret that I will reveal later on once it is done. And yeah, I hope when it is done, I will be able to show you and as well as play many many different kinds of game on it and i will be running back my gaming channel now because the games will not be lagging and they will not look like a potato quality anymore so i hope you subscribe to that gaming channel as well as well as this channel if you like the content of both channels then yeah without further ado let's begin with our today's story our story begins 13 years after the qb attack in konoha gakuren sato at main gates we see a family of four walking inside the two children and two parents. One had blonde hair, tan skin, and blue eyes. He was none other than Minato Namikaze, the fourth Hokage. And the next person was a female with red hair, pale skin, and violet eyes. Kushina Uzumaki. And with them were their two children, twins, Menma Uzumaki and Kushina Uzumaki Namikaze. As the siblings were happy, today they were going to meet their little brother, as were the parents because they have left their little baby boy here just because he was not a part of prophecy and that hurted them a lot but it was a tough decision for the betterment of the whole elemental nations and now their children were ready to become the heroes that they were prophesied to become and reunite with their brother who they have missed and wished that they had spent time with him as we see them entering as everyone bowed to them as looked shocked as well as happy to see them alive as Minato and his family went inside the council chamber greeting everyone and telling all of them that they were alive all those years ago but hiding away from the masked person who attacked Q attacked with QB on that day as when they entered the Hokage office they saw that an old man was standing there looking out of the window of the office towards his village as his reflection showed a frown as both of the parents sighed we're back, um, Horizon Sama. Minato said, I know. I can see, Minato. I have not gone snarl that much. As Kushina said, Gigi, really? You're still mad at us? I am, Kushina. You know, I thought of you as my daughter, and you, Minato, as a son. But what you have done to your little boy? Abandoning him. We did not abandon him. We left him in the care of our beloved people, who we knew have raised him well. <laughs> raised him well. These people did not did any of that. These people betrayed you, Minato. What do you mean? Three years ago, as we have a flashback, we see a 10-year-old Naruto who was living in the streets and was taken in at the age of four and placed into an apartment building complex near the red light district by Hiruzen. As Kakashi was watching over Naruto from time to time after that, as many years passed like that and the people did not engage, but Kakashi, with the help of counsel, was sent on a almost close to a suicide mission far away from the village, which might take one or two months as Naruto was left now without any guard. So that was a strike. Many of the seal masters gathered out from the different villages to do only one job, banish the demon from their own world to another plane. As it was one of the seal master, Hikaru, who suggested this from the Tanabara town. He said that this might help them finally get rid of the QB once and for all, and they can do this to the other Bijus as well. He wanted to become famous because he was a greedy, greedy person, and it was the fast way to earn cash. The people who wanted to get rid of a demon and a child. What's the big deal? Many children die. What will happen if one more die then? Who cares, right? So that is what they did. They gathered around Narada's house on his 10th birthday when he was celebrating with a cupcake in front of him with a single candle as he was crying and only wishing for one thing i i wish i had parents and a family 
who loved me. As Naruto started to cry, then suddenly his door bursted out. As Naruto was shocked, as he tried to run, but his on his leg, a uh, kunai was impaled. As Naruto was now screaming on the ground, but the scream died down on his throat when a huge towel was shoved onto his mouth to keep him quiet. <laughs> quiet down, kid. The more you scream, the more it will hurt. It will only last a second and you will be erased. You know, you should be honored because Hikaru-sama is going to use his private seal on you, little boy, and test out if it holds out or not. As the seal activated, as Naruto was disappeared in a white light, as that is when Haruzen arrived to seeing this sight, Naruto's tearful eyes before disappearing. Hikaru was captured and killed off instantly by torture after one year. At the birthday of Naruto, one year later, Hikaru was killed off, painfully as possible. As those people who were held off accountable was traced back and were executed. And after that, when Naruto died, his heritage was revealed. And many people regretted doing what they did. But some were happy still because they finally got rid of QB. But at a cost, right? There is always a cost to pay to get rid of a demon. So they honored Naruto as a hero, as Minato and Kushina wanted, but after getting rid of him. As end of the flashback. As the siblings' eyes widened, as they were tearing up, as was Kushina and Minato, who looked like as if he was numb now. So you see, I do not trust these people. And to be honest, I don't trust you. I blame them as much as I blame you all, because you were the one who started this all. You were the one who told them that you have sealed the QB soul inside of Naruto. And Naruto is gone now with the QB seal to an unknown place. I called back Jiraiya multiple times, but he didn't answer any of my letters, and so did Tsunade. And she's supposed to be the grandmother of these children. As then, Jiraiya and Tsunade arrived who were following them behind suit. What are you talking about? After filling them in of what had gone by, both of them looked shameful. Why didn't you tell us, Kachan? Minato said to his mother that you have received multiple letters from Hiruzen. I thought they weren't important. What make you thought that it wasn't important if it was sent by your own sensei? He might have needed help. What if Konoha was destroyed? But but much worse is that my son, he he's gone and there is nothing we can do now. Is he even alive? Minato asked, we do not know. We tried to trace it back as much as we could, but due to the lack of assistance by both my students, well, let's just say the tracks died down, the trail went cold and we couldn't find him anymore. We tried to search him out in the whole elemental nations. I even rebooted Danzo's route just to find him, but could not. I see. So, so where is he? We do not know. We do not know. As after that, we go towards another dimension in Universe Zero One of Dragon Ball Z to see that Naruto, at the age of ten, was found there in the forest by none other than our black-haired favorite Saiyan Goku, because his house was there and so was his farm. As his son Goten landed there, hey dad, what is it, Goten? Look, it's a boy here, and he looks hurt. Oh my god, he's bleeding. As Goku picked up the boy and flew back to his home, as QB's soul was shocked seeing this. How did this human fly? This is impossible. It seems that we are in a different timeline, aren't all together. Hmm, curse that human. He has achieved way, way far advanced level of time space ninjutsu. This is dangerous. And thanks to my shell, which is quite of a husk, I cannot even get out. And I have no chakra left. Surprisingly, this world doesn't even have chakra, but a pure form of energy. As QB started to regain much, much, and much more power of this domain, which was enhancing him to another level. As after taking care of him by Chi Chi and Goku, Naruto finally woke up. Where am I? What is this place? As Naruto said, as he saw Goten, oh, so you're awake, finally. As Naruto then jumped back, as a yell was heard on the 
ground floor by Goku and Chi Chi as both of them dash towards the room. What is going on here? Goten, are you bullying him? Said Chi Chi. No, he, he, he started to act like that. As after that, they asked Naruto, Hey, little guy, are you okay? Said Chi Chi. Don't, don't hurt me, please. I, I promise I didn't do anything. I'm not a demon. As Naruto said, literally crying and shaking. As Chi Chi was taken aback by that. Oh my god. Goku, what is wrong with him, Chi Chi? Asked Goku. It seems that, that he has been through a mental trauma and has been abused. What? Who in the right mind would hit their children unless it is for training? There are some people, Goku. There are. I told you, remember? Yeah, but we you took care of them, right? Yes, I did. But there are some people still existing out there. Look, little boy, what is your name? If you want, we can take care of you here. You'll be safe here with us. R r really? C can I can I trust you? Yes, you can. And my luck nut of a husband here will help you train as well so you can become strong. As Goku chuckled, yeah, I was itching for a sparring partner. And you look like you have the potential to become strong. R really? Yes. As after that... Time passed, and one uh, it took Naruto six months to recover because there was no chakra, so Naruto was getting used to this new world. He felt that his body was regenerating much faster, but he was weakening because of lack of chakra. As after that, Naruto opened up to Goten, as both Goten and Naruto were now like siblings. As Gohan has also visited with Videl, and Gohan was surprised to find out about the circumstances and was quite serious. As you go towards flashback of two months inside the flashback. So you're telling me this. You found a boy in the woods and you brought him in and he was scared of you. Like you were going to beat him and call. he was calling himself that he wasn't a demon. It is mental trauma and child abuse, father. A serious one. I'm quite surprised that you brought him out of it. At least some bit. Yeah, but he's still scared of meeting new people. I guess... Those people who hurted him were really bad. I don't know why, but I feel angry all of a sudden, said Goku. It is because, father, you feel empathy and hate towards those people who have hurted Naruto because you see him as one of your own, like you see me and Goten. Yeah, he is kind of my son. As after that, Goku and Goten and Gohan played and talked with Naruto as Naruto also met Pan for the first time. As after that, time passed and finally came the time when Bulma held a contest in which a castle was the biggest prize. As Goku then said with Chi Chi, as Chi Chi was yelling at Goku, Come on Goku, we have to leave. Bring in the kids already. Fine, fine, I'm doing that. Sheesh, what is wrong with this woman? As Goku went upstairs, where he saw that Goten and Naruto were just sitting down and chilling. Hey kids, we're going to meet... Bulma and Vegeta. Oh, isn't that the guy that you said was your biggest rival and friend? Yeah. And I would like to introduce him and my other friends to you as well, Naruto. Would you like to go as well? Um, Yes, I, I will, Naruto said. He was still scared of meeting new people because of his trauma, but Goku was happy that he was opening up. Great. As he then said, come downstairs when you're ready. As both of them then looked at each other and chuckled as both of them dashed to the other side and got ready into the orange suit that their father wore as Naruto has started to call Chi Chi mother and Goku father and siblings to both Goten and as well as Gohan. As after half an hour Naruto and Goten arrived downstairs as with a capsule corpse tool they were able to summon a ship with the help of which they flew all the way to the yacht in which Vegeta was waiting, like he usually did by brooding. So you're finally here, Kakarot. Took your sweet time, huh? Ah, uh, sheesh, Vegeta. Chill out. It's just a uh, enjoying event. No fighting here, okay? Shut up, woman, said Vegeta. What did you say to me? Nothing. Just do what you want to do, Boma. Leave me out of it, Vegeta said. As he go and lie down, on a nearby chair. As suddenly out of nowhere, Beast as well as 
the god of destruction, Beerus arrived. Hmm. So this is the place where you said the food will be interesting, right? Yes. Bulma has summoned a call for us and invited us to her event. Hmm. I'll not participate, but I'll enjoy the food here then. As Naruto was surprised to see a cat who could talk and fly. Whoa, dad. As Beerus' eyes puckered up, looking at the new child. Isn't... Is that cat talking? As Beerus' eyes twitched, I'm not a cat. I am the god of destruction, Beerus. And who might you be, little twerp? Oh, um, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I, I'm, I'm Naruto. As Goku then said, Oh, come on, Beerus, am I? He's, he's the boy I told you about, remember? When we met, one month ago. You mean the boy you adopted? Yes. Meet Naruto. Hmm, you're quite interesting. Huh? How so? Goku said. He has a different sort of energy. The energy that I found only in the other dimension, away from our multiverse and universes. Whoa, really? Yes. It is called Chakra, my lord, said Vis. This is interesting. What are you doing here, little one? Away from your own dimension. As everyone got the attention of that, as Naruto looked down, I... I... As Naruto started to hyperventilate, as everyone was looking at him and whispering, as Naruto passed out. Hmm, interesting turns of events, said Beerus, as Bulma and Chichi dashed towards Naruto, and so did Goten and Trunks, who was with him. As Naruto was brought inside to an emergency hospital room that was built inside the yacht. Jeez, you had to tear him out like that. He's just a kid, Beerus, as Goku said. Why did he act like that? He's been through mental trauma and child abuse, as Chichi said. As both these as well as Beerus looked at each other, we have to see the child memory. He's from another timeline, Goku. Another dimension, an alternative reality in which there is a boundary we cannot cross. He has crossed it yet. It is against the protocols, so we have to check if he's a threat or not. You can't, but he, you can't hurt him, okay? We promise you we won't. You have my promise as a god of destruction, said Beerus as Goku calmed down. As after half an hour we see Naruto who was passed out as Goten, who looked almost close to crying, as Trunks too looks worried, as well as Bulma and Chichi, who were there. As Beerus and Beast arrived. Oh, look who's here. Are you here to apologize for what you have done to the kid? He has some issues. Yeah, we heard, Bulma. And I have already apologized to Goku. So, Beast... Let's watch his memories. As in front of everyone, as even Vegeta and everyone arrived there, they saw the memories. Whoa, they're ninjas, said Goten. As they saw Konoha, as what happened to Naruto and how he ended up here. As after the video was done, Beerus leaked his key and so did Vegeta, as well as Goku. As for a moment there, everyone's eyes widen as Goku's hair Remaining black turned a silver hue, as his eyes were silver for a moment before going back to black. When I meet them, I'll crush them. I'll act like a proper saint then. <laughs> well, I always wanted to destroy out a planet with my power. I guess I know which one to do so. No, said B Beerus, as well as Peace. This should be brought up to Xenos Sama. Oh, you mean Xenos? It's been a long time since I met him. Yes, it should be brought up to him. He will look into it and see if he can help this out. Because regardless of the different dimension, Xenos has a connection there. Xenos' sister, Kanos, is there to look out for that dimension. So she might be able to see this and erase that universe altogether. As it was decided, as Beast, Goku, Vegeta, as well as Naruto, who was in arms of Goku, left left towards the domain where Xenos resided. As when they arrived, both Xenos arrived there. Goku, you're back! Ah, it's nice to meet you guys, but I'm here for another reason. As everyone bowed, but Goku's remained the same. Who's this? said one of the Xenos. Hmm, he's not from here. He's from Kano's domain. Do you want me to return him? My lord, I have some memories to show you of this child. It seems that Kano's sama has been not doing her duties fully. You know that is a heavy allegation, right? I can pretty much erase you for that alone, 
said Zenos in all seriousness, I know you should see this. As everyone watched this, even the Grand Priest, and they were disgusted. And he's little. Why would they hurt him? As suddenly a cute fox head was formed. The creator, the one who watches all. It is I, Kurama, the nine-tailed fox. Hmm, you reside in that domain in a single planet. What are you doing out here? As he saw in the memories of the kid, he was assaulted. And he had lived his past ten years of life all by himself in solitude. In, in the alleys, dumpster diving just to eat and survive. He has seen the harsh reality of humanity. And that is why it was their last straw that they pulled and wanted to destroy me and him alongside. They wanted to destroy us by sending us into hell as they thought, but we arrived here. I see. So you arrived with him. I am nothing more than a mere soul. But I am evolving into something else because of this key here. I see. You will be his godly animal then, who will watch over him. And Goku, you want him to be your son, right? Yes, he is my son. Then cut your thumb and drop eight bloods of your droplets here on his forehead center. As a huge spear appeared on Naruto's forehead, as eight blood droplets were dropped there, as Naruto's hair started to go black, as his chakra coils were destroyed now and replaced by veins in which ki started to flow. You changed his whole anatomy. Impressive, Zenosama. I am the creator. He is now officially your son alongside your wife, Chichis. Thank you so much, Zenos. Hmm, this is the least I can do for the child. But you have to let me play with him. As the guardians and the grand priest were surprised, but he was quiet and sad by the sight he has watched. A little human child going through this much pain at such young age. He has never witnessed anything like this. He has seen many atrocities in his time, but this? This was beyond anything. It made him even sick to the core. As after that, when Naruto woke up, he was there. While the other ones were away, training in an open field, as Zenos were there with him. So you're finally up, said one of the Zenos. Please, d don't hurt me. I... As Naruto started to breathe heavily, calm down. We're not going to hurt you. What's your name? I'm I'm Naruto. Nice to meet you, Naruto. I'm Zenos, and me too. Yeah, wait, you're both Zenos? Yes. Would you like to be our friend? Really? Yes. We would like to have a friend. I mean, Goku is our friend, but he's older than us, and we need a friend who is able to play with us. Really? Can I p play with you? Are, are, are you serious? Yes. As Naruto started to cry, but this time tears of happiness. As Zeno was, Zenos was, both of them were touched by this. As they said, come on, let's play. As there was a huge field created there, as they played there to their heart content, and Naruto was laughing for the first time. As Grand Priest was standing there with Beast, this is the first time I saw both of the lords enjoying themselves so much. As both of the guardians nodded as well. And this is the first time in his memories I have seen him smile like that. I've never seen him smile. It is a good thing that the lords have decided that he should be a Saiyan instead of one of them. So what will the lord do? We, I will have to get in contact with Kenosama and tell her about this. I will be leaving shortly to her domain because I am their grand priest as well. I see, my lord. I am dismissed? Yes, you are. As after that, the Grand Priest left towards the domain of Kanos, in which the elemental nations resided as well, on a singular planet. As we see, the Grand Priest arrived there within milliseconds, traveling through millennia and the barrier, as Kanos was sitting there. Why are you here, Grand Priest? I am here to tell you about the atrocities that one planet on your domain has done. You mean the elemental nations, right? Yes. Uh, how? If you knew, then why didn't you? I knew, and I was the one who gave him the idea in his thoughts to send him here, because I knew my brother will be the one who will take care of him. They were either going to kill him or use him as a weapon. 
I did not want that for that child because he is the one who was supposed to be their savior and I took that away from them because they have done the opposite of what I have told them in the prophecy. So you want them destroyed? Yes, by their own creed and by the hands of their savior as well. The prophecy has been changed. They have been warned. You have to train him properly and prepare him when the time comes. It, it will be done as you wish. Now go and tell this to my Nissan. As Kanos instead of Xenos was much more mature in this form, like a 16 year old, while Xenos was in the form of a little kid, always ready to play, but when he gets down to business, he was serious. As after Grand Priest left, Kanos sat down there with her angel. Are you sure about this? I mean, telling them your plan. What if Xenos sama my brother can do whatever he wants, and plus he's happy with the gift I sent it for him. And he will be happy there because a great catastrophe is coming towards this their domain. This domain is doomed and they want elemental nations gone. And this is the perfect chance. They have nothing, done nothing but more to abuse my beloved's gift to them. Chakra. As Hagaromo arrived there, so wife, are you still mad at them for abusing my gift even though I forgave them? Yes, I am, honey. They have been doing nothing more than the opposite of your teachings. You taught them peace and perseverance, and yet they do is destroy and destruction. Nothing more, nothing less. Even going as far as to kill innocents just for their own gains. I have seen enough. They will be destroyed, and by the hands of the one they prophesied to be seen as a savior. But those who are savable will be shifted. A new planet will be created instead of this, but the dirt will be erased once and for all. Thank you. Thank you for saving those who are redeemable or savable. Redeemable will not be saved. Only those who are innocent will be. Like Manma and Mito. What about Kushina and Minato? They regret what they did. And yet they did it anyways. So, they are considered redeemable and hence will not be saved as such. But Manma and Mito, they are innocent as much as of a victim, if nothing more else, just like Naruto. Because they did not ask for this, they did not have any say in this. And those who cannot be forgiven are the rest of the Konohas, the populace as well as their elders and even their leaders. Aside from Hiruz and Saruto, Bian Kakashi Harake, the whole village is doomed. As we go towards the other villages, they have done the same atrocities, as well as Taki village. I will personally destroy it if I wanted to. As you wish. As Hagaruma sighed, listen, I know that you're mad of what I am doing, but it is for the betterment of this whole universe. I cannot tolerate this in my domain. You, of all people, should know that, husband. I know, wife. I know. I'm just sad that they have to go like this. They did not learn from their mistake, and yet they made many more. Me as well. Me as well. As after that, we go back to see that the Grand Priest had arrived back into the domain of their own, the Dragon Ball Z domain. To see that the other universes arrived there, mainly Kefla and as well as... Kale with them as both of them saw Naruto. Who's this peeps quick? Goku? Oh, he's my adopted son, Naruto, as Naruto blushed when he saw both of them. Um pretty. Naruto said, blurted out, as Kale and Kefla blushed and looked away. As they were fourteen and Naruto was eleven. Oi, what are you calling pretty little kid? Uh I'm sorry, but you're you're quite beautiful. I I I'm sorry if, 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 if it is wrong, but you really are. As Kale almost was close to passing out like Hinata and Kefla, who was the top one, looked away. Tch, yeah, okay, stop doing that, right? As Zenos then called, Naruto, come play with us. Leave those girls alone. As Naruto then dashed back, bye. As Vegeta smirked, well, well, well. Turns out, Kakarot, your son is a ladies' man. Really? Really? Is that a good thing? Or is that a bad thing? No, he's not, Vegeta. What he said was kind of cute, if I'm honest, said Kefla, as Kale also agreed with her. But that's there is. He's younger than us. And we are not interested in younger guys. He's also a Saiyan, a new form one. Really? But he's only on base form right now. He hasn't gone up. As after that, Naruto was done playing with 
both of these Zenos as they were laying there in the grass field while Goku and Kefla as well as Kale alongside Vegeta has done with their training. As Champa and well, Beerus were at each other's throat again as both of the angels was just standing there. As after that, Zenos then said, Nay, Naruto, why don't you spend your life here in our domain? Or would you like to go back? I don't know. I like it here. People are not mean to me here. I I think I'm needed here now. I don't I don't want to go back there. Is this wrong of me to think like that? No, Naruto. It is not wrong. You have every right to choose for yourself and you have chosen the right thing. Plus, you're my best friend now, aren't you? Yes, you're my best friend as well, Zenos. See? And we don't want you to leave, as both of them chuckled as hugged Naruto as Naruto hugged them back and laughed finally for the first time. As Kefla and Kale watched this and blushed, as they were both punched and OW! That hurts, you idiots! As Kale then went into rage mode and turned into female Broly again and was going ham at everyone. As Naruto saw this, as Goku and everyone else were trying to stop her, but it, because of her being the legendary Saiyan in this timeline, she was getting way out of hand. And suddenly something interesting happened. She went Super Saiyan Blue out of nowhere. What? How the hell did she get that transformation? Yeah, we would like to know that as well, said Vegeta. As suddenly Naruto arrived there. Kale, stop! As Kale was growling literally at everyone. As Naruto arrived there. It's alright, Naruto said hugging her torso. Nobody's going to hurt you. Nobody hurt me. As Kale started to calm down. As she shrunk back to her original self, as she said, um, um, Naruto-san, you can let me go. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I thought you needed help. I, I apologize for that. No, it's okay. It's okay. As Kefala then said, a little bit with hiding her jealousy, uh, is our Kale in love? So are you, Nesan. I saw you looking at him with jealousy when he was hugging me. I see. So you have somewhat cautiousness when you go into that form. Yeah, I, I have somewhat, but I cannot control my anger. I see. We have to work on that. As Goku then said, Naruto, are you okay? Do not ever do that again. We have experience of fighting fighters like that. While you're new, you might have gotten hurt. As Zeno said the same thing, I'm sorry. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Many people would get hurt, kid, said Vegeta. No matter how hard you try. You cannot save everyone. That is a valuable lesson you should learn as fast as you can. Or otherwise, whenever you try playing hero, many people will die. And you will feel guilt with their death. The guilt that you will have to carry to your grave. And the best way to deal with it is that you learn this harsh reality firsthand. Just the way I did. As Vegeta started to walk away. Well, I kind of agree with him, but... He's a mean dick, Naruto. Leave him alone, said Goku. Goku, he's a kid, said Beerus. Oh, uh, uh, don't tell Chi-Chi I said that, okay? Uh, okay, I guess. As after that, Naruto and Goku and Vegeta and Beerus as well as Whis said goodbye to all of them and returned to their own dimension as Kefla and Kale returned to their own. As after arriving there, they saw that 18 and Krillin has arrived there with Marin, their daughter. So you have arrived here as well, and who is this little guy? Whoa, who are you lady? You look different. I mean, you don't have any life force. It's because I'm an android. I was a human at one point, but I was changed by a mad scientist. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. It's alright. I have come to terms with it. Plus, it's not that bad. Really? Yes. I mean, I will always look young. <laughs> I guess you will look always pretty. As she patted Naruto said, Huh, smooth talker, aren't ya? Where did you find this one? Uh, in the woods, Goku said. Wow, sh show some decorum, Goku, said Krillin. What? What's that? Is that something you eat? Uh, never mind. I forgot who was I talking to. As then all of them went in and enjoyed the time. As after spending some time there, it was night time to see that Goten and Trunks were up to no good again as Naruto found both of them as they were inside their mother's lab. I mean Trunks' mother's lab. What are you doing? Oh, sh Naruto, come over here. 
Uh, nice to meet you, Trunks. Uh, Naruto, nice to meet you too, Trunks. Goten has told me about you the whole day. He won't stop yapping about you, but he's my brother. Who would I talk it about other than my best friend? Don't take it the wrong way, Naruto. It's alright. I have also made a best friend. Two of them. Who? Xenos. Y you mean the creator of all? That football head dude that looks like a child and has the power to destroy a whole reality? Uh, yeah. Hmm, awesome. As Trunks was quite intrigued by that. As Naruto then asked, what are we doing here? We're looking for a prize. A prize in which we can buy some games for. We can play it on Trunks' console that he has in his room. As then, Chi Chi and as well as Bulma arrived and pulled both of their ears. Ow, I apologize, Mom. It was Trunks' idea. What? Mine? It was yours, Goten. You wanted to be the one who was wanted to play my console. Yeah, put it on all me now, you cheap scumbag. I said Naruto chuckled. Naruto, you could have told us. I, I didn't know what they were doing. I asked them after arriving here just now. I see, good boy. Go and go stay with your father. As this was going on, Naruto's life was taking a good turn towards there in Naruto. I mean, Dragon Ball Zverse. We go towards the elemental nations in Kano's domain to see that they were in uproar. As we see, everything was going normal one day as Jiraiya bursted through the door inside Minato's office. Sensei, what the hell is wrong with you? You could have used that damn door and knocked on it. You just broke it off the hinges. It's emergency. You see, I was at the Tones Mountain and the prophecies changed. Something is bad going to happen, Minato. Not to us, but to the whole elemental nation. No, the whole world. Sensei, calm down. You're not making any sense. The savior is now going to be the destroyer. And I think it will be Naruto who is going to destroy us all. What? But he, he's dead, isn't he? I do not know, but the prophecy is changed. The one who was cursed and exiled will return with vengeance and bring down hell upon those who have done him wrong. This is the new prophecy, and even gods have abandoned them. They will not be saved, and will be at his mercy. This is the complete prophecy, Minato. We have to call the council then. If this is the true prophecy, then we are all doomed. Yes. How much time do we have? We do not know. What about the innocents? It says that as then an angel arrived there. Who are you? As he said, I am an angel. Sent here by Kenos Sama, the watcher of this universe, the creator and the eraser of many galaxies and universes. Your universe has been deemed as threat to other species in the whole multiverse. What? But we have done nothing wrong. It is our legacy that on which we stand on as shinobis to fight with the others to protect our nation. But in process, many harm harmless and innocent people have died. You have failed to notice that, didn't you, Jiraiya? You yourself have killed multiple innocent kids just for to complete your missions. It was an, it was an unavoidable cause. I tried to stop it. I couldn't. There was always a way. You could have killed him another time. You could have retreated back, saving the innocent's life, yet you didn't. Even the sage of the sixth path is disgusted by you all. He has given up faith and hope on all of you. And that is why the prophecies changed when you kicked out your own savior from this whole galaxy and universe. He is alive, but I will not tell you where. You cannot find him, but you can try. As after that, the angel left. As for the time, we do not know how much time do you have left. <laughs> this is the final surprise that you will have. One day out of nowhere, you will all be erased. Just the way I like it. As the angel now disappeared, it was confirmed that their doom was near and yet they did not knew when or how. But the person that will bring down upon them their hell, they knew about that. As the whole council was called, the shinobi clan heads as well as the civilian council and the elders. Today, Jiraiya Sensei arrived with a unfortunate news about the elemental nations. A dreadful news. Our world is at the end of destruction, and it was confirmed by an angel. I can vouch for that, said Hiruzen. I was watching this from my orb. I sensed an unnatural aura inside my office, so I saw it, and I saw an angel. As the recording was shown to everyone, as everyone was in shock. So you mean to say is the so-called demon brat of the Konoha that we are 
tried hard to kill is actually alive and has turned into a being who will now come down and hunt us down like we're some kind of animals and there's nothing we can do to stop it and even the gods have abandoned us yes that is what is going on we have to ask for the help from our saviors mito sama and natsumi sama as well as menma sama they cannot. They're not the saviors. It was Naruto all along. We have told you again and again and again, and yet you won't listen and understand. The savior who was abandoned and exiled will return and bring down vengeance. Doesn't that make sense? You exiled Naruto from this whole dimension to another one. We do not know where he is. Wait, Minato. The designs of that seal was designed by Hikaru. Maybe if we can find him, me and Kushina can reverse the whole contradiction and as well as the matrix and we can summon back Naruto maybe because he was combined form of your DNAs maybe we can do that it is possible yeah as Kushinathan said it is possible we can we have to find his notes as then the quest for Hikaru's notes began as they search out the whole elemental nations just to find out his notes it went so high that Konoha was searching for something that the five the other four Kages became interested and a Kage summit was called and within month, Minato was there at the Arden Country, which was a neutral ground for all five villages, as the other four Kages were there. As Aiden said, I'll get straight to the point, as beginning of this meeting. Minato, what are you searching for? And what is Konoha searching for, to be more precise? You have been acting very too rashly and quickly, like something is bothering you, as some demons are after you. We heard that you got rid of your Jinchuriki. Isn't that enough? Listen, what I'm about to tell you, you might all think that I'm crazy, but it is true, 100% true. A prophecy was received by the great elder Toad to Jiraiya, that a savior will be born for me in Krishna, who will save the whole elemental nation and, and unite it under his name and banner. But, two year, three years ago, my son, Minato Naruto Namekaze Uzumaki, who we left behind, who held the soul of Kyubino Yoko, thinking that the people will see him as a hero and raise him and protect him. All the thing we worried about at the time was that he might be spoiled, but when we returned, it was a whole other scenario. They have tortured him. Kicked him out when he was four. He lived in the he lived in the skirts and I don't want to talk about it, but it was a tough life for a kid. And when he finally found some peace, somewhat at least, all by himself, it was taken from him and he was exiled from this dom domain, as per the angel said to us. And he is alive and he is angry now, and he wants revenge. And his revenge is that, instead of being the savior, he is going to be the destroyer. And there is nothing we can do about it now. We have to fight them. That is all we can do. As shinobis, we will either save or die trying. The gods have abandoned us. So there is literally zero chance of us winning. But we have to do something. We'll go down with a bang. <laughs> Showing them what we got. So? Are you all in? Yes. What do you need? Hikaru's notes. You know Hikaru, the seal master, right? Yeah, he was an A-rank missing nin From Taki's village. Yeah. He's the one who created that matrix. And his notes are required for us to prepare a reverse source of seal so we can summon back Naruto. And maybe with the help of that, we might be able to correct some mistakes of the past. And we might be able to save the elemental nations. That is the perfect idea on the paper, Minato, said Oniki. But how the hell are we going to find one man's notes when he had hidden them so well that not even his own children could locate it down? His children. Are there any of his children out there? He has a 12-year-old daughter named Honeki, but we rarely know about her. She is also a missing nin from Taki, left after her father, but she is now a nomad, living away from everyone. I see. I guess we'll see where this leads us to. We have to find her down and track her down. And after that, every and each village brought all of their forces together to track down Honeki, the daughter of Hikaru. And after... Searching for six months straight, Hikaru's traces were found, as one other person also got the gist of it, Zetsu. As you go towards Amegakure in a hidden base to see that Zetsu arrived there. Any news, Zetsu? Yes, it is an interesting news, my lord. It seems as if Konoha and the other elemental nations have been searching the whole earth for Honiki, daughter of 
Lord of Hikaru, the seal master from Taki who abandoned the mission. Oh, Hikaru, huh? That kid behind the king for seals. <laughs> What did he do? It seems as if he was the one who banished the nine tails. That is why we cannot feel it anymore. I see. So the nine tails in Chiriki is out there and they want the notes for something. Yes, something about reversing the matrix and bringing him back. So he's alive. That is confirmed then. said pain yes my lord that is confirmed that he is alive out there so they need these nords to bring him back and we need him here for our plan to work what are you thinking pain said kona we are going to help them provide them our services to locate down because we are also in need of the nine tails without nine tails it is impossible for us to bring the ten tails here actually it is possible to save us from headache said zetsu what inkaku and ginkaku They have been sealed away in Kumo because they ate Yubi's flesh from his stomach. We can get them and a weaker form of ten tails will be revived. And after that, feeding the souls of the shin- shinobis and other jinchurikis, we can make it stronger. And it alone can bring hell upon down the whole elemental nation. Then it is decided. We know what to do. We have our assignments, gentlemen. And we will bring the whole elemental nations down to its knees. It is time for them to understand the meaning of true pain. Before building our paradise, there is needed and required demolition and destruction. And we, Yakarski, will deliver it. As everyone nodded. As after that, Zetsu was ordered to go and deliver this message to everyone. That they will help them. As Zetsu went to find them all. As it was needed for them to... because they wanted to gain the trust of the five united nations now just to get inside kumo and to gain access to inkaku and ginkaku now which was their main goal as this was going in konoha and the elemental nations we go towards dragon ball zverse and see that naruto has been training vigilantly with with vegeta as well as goku now as kale and kefla has been visiting naruto way too often and spending time with him And Naruto has got opened up to them a lot and even shared about his past as Kale and Kefla were shocked about this. And even as Goku and Whis, as Whis showed them Naruto's memories. Even though he didn't want it to, he was forced to show this. And he did. And after finding him out, what happened to him, they were shocked and enraged at these people. As Naruto was being trained and molded into the perfect shinobi. As well as when he was free, he was... seen off with Kefla as well as Kale who didn't even left his side after that and remained in his, their domain even against the orders of their god of destruction Champa. As one year has passed as Naruto has reached Super Saiyan level 3 now. As we see him training against Kale who was inside her legendary Saiyan form as Naruto was going against her at same pace. Thanks to the help of Kurama, the nine tail fox as Naruto calls it Kurama and who has become Naruto's best friend as well and partner. Come on kid, you can do this. As Naruto then said, Ka me ha me ha as a huge beam of blue energy was shot towards Kale as Kale dodged it and from her mouth a huge beam was shot as well which Naruto dodged and they were at it again. As the whole earth shook as they powered up again. Kaioken X100, Naruto said. As in Super Saiyan 3, Kaioken X100 was formed as they were battling against each other again. As after that, when they disappeared into blurts, huge booming sounds and punching sounds were heard. And after they stopped, they were landing on the ground. And both of them were bruised and tired. You know what, Kale-chan? That was awesome. As Naruto returned back to his original form. Hmm, it was, said Kale. I am awesome. As she became then shy, I, I know, thank you, Naruto. As Naruto and Kale now sat down as Kefla arrived. Hey, lovebirds. Oh, hey, Kefla, John. You're here. Yeah, I am. As Kefla was about to leave, because she was jealous of Kale, as Naruto and Kale had started to develop feelings for each other, and she could see that. She didn't want that for Kale to steal her. Naruto away from her because she also loved Naruto. Don't go, Kale said. I know that you like him as well, and so do I, but that is why I have to leave. 
If I remain here, I I don't know if I can take it. It hurts. At the same time, I'm happy. I don't know if I'm being I'm being selfish or what. I love you both, Naruto said, arriving there at this side. As he stood there, if I can't choose one of you and break the other heart, I would I would remain alone. I apologize, but I I want to have both of you. If this is greedy of me, but this is something I want. Is this allowed? Yes, it is. Said Goku. As Gigi then bonked him on the head. It was such a nice moment and you ruined it. As there was a tape recorder in the school on hand. Way to go, little twerp. <laughs> You're even playing with girls even before I was. <laughs> At your time, I was training hard as you are, but not as much as strong as you. And yeah, I was a loser back in the day. No, you weren't. You were awesome. <laughs> You were able to defeat Cell at my age and I didn't even have my first real fight yet. You kind of did. You just went straight head to head with a legendary Sin, which has the same potential as Broly. Kale over here, said Vegeta. You're here as well? As Bulma then squealed. Yes, we all were. As one by one, each and every one of them rose as Naruto passed out due to the embarrassment as everyone chuckled. As Kale and Kefalo then said, What the hell is wrong with you all? Don't you have something better to do? As Jampa then said, I get it, brother. This is pure gold comedy. And my boredom, it is erased. See, I told you. It will be fun to let them stay here. <laughs> As then, Zenos arrived. This is fun. Naruto is developing new feelings. Naruto, Kale, and Kefla. No, Icha Icha. No, we're not. As both Zenos chuckled and left. As after that, Naruto went into hyperbolic time chamber. As Goku was forced, forcing Naruto to do this. Why am I going in there for one year outside of the timeline? In there, you will not age because it is modified by Popo as well as Dende. It will make our age remain the same, but we will train there for many, many years to come. You will grow stronger and Vegeta is going there alongside with Beerusama as well. Yes, because I want to teach Beerus Vegeta here a technique of mine. The technique we use as called as destruction. And since you have awoken the Ultra Instinct, it will help him out. And maybe Naruto might awaken something else. As hence, one year of training began behind the locked hyperbolic time chamber. Time skip. One year passed and everyone was gathered there, even Kale and Kefla, to see Naruto. As... When the door opened, a 15-year-old Naruto with long hair that went down to his face tied in a back ponytail arrived as his front hair was hugging his side cheeks as well as his forehead, just like Minato's but longer, much longer, as his chest was broader and shoulders as well. As he smiled, hey everyone, so nice to meet you all, he said in a new voice, which was that of a grown-up Naruto, much more huskier. As Vegeta and Goku walked out aside as well with torn up clothes. So how did the training go? It went well. We had a lot of fun training inside here. <laughs> and Naruto over here was able to achieve a new form that is known as the Zenos form, as we call it. But Naruto said he will call it the ultimate form, which will be yeah, I'm still thinking on it. You don't have to think that hard, Dad. Hmm. Yeah, I still wanted to name it, though. I mean, I got the Ultra Instinct. Vegeta got the Ultra Eagle. Wait, wait. Goku said, Gohan said, Ultra Eagle? Dad, you forgot us to, f- you forgot to fill us in on that. Oh, did I? <laughs> Sorry, Gohan. I kind of forgot. So, um, can you explain us, Dad, why is this called the Ultra Eagle? Well, it is a form that we, the God of Destruction, use, literally, but Vegeta wanted to call it Ultra Ego because of his ego. Tch, yeah. What is this form? Is it good? Yes, it is. It is a heavy hitter form, but the only downside is that when you use it way too much, you have a very bad flaw. You will take damage and you cannot avoid it. If you take too much, it will be life-threatening to you, but it will enhance you way too much. Oh, just like when you were controlled by Majin Buu, huh? Yeah, just like that. I see. I got the name, Naruto yelled out. What? Omni-Sien God. 
Hmm, that's a quite nice claim. Yeah, since Zeno is Zenos is an omni being, I wanted to dedicate this form to him. Really? That's so cool. Zenos, you're here. Naruto said. Wow, well, Naruto, you look cool. <laughs> yeah, you guys as well. As Naruto hugged them, as they hugged him back, Naruto was the only person to allow to hug them, while the others were allowed to touch Zenos, such as Goku, but he was the only one. As Naruto met them, Kefla and Kale. Hey, I missed you both. As Kefla kissed Naruto, as Naruto blushed, and so did Kale then. As there was a snapping sound heard. Finally, I'm going to have two beautiful daughter-in-laws. What? Oh, uh. As Kefla then flew away, and so did Kale. In embarrassment, as Naruto then looked down, blushing heavily. As Gohan then yelled at Naruto, See? I told you he's a player, Dad, says the guy, who was way too much embarrassed when he wanted to ask me out. As Gohan blushed and everyone laughed again. As Zenos then said, Naruto, we have to talk to you about some things. Is it time? Goku said, Yes, it is. As Naruto and Zenos left to his domain. As Naruto was stood there to see that Kenos was there. So you brought him here, Nissan. Uh, I apologize. I nod about it. It's nice to meet you, Kanosama. I heard a lot about you from Zenos. I see. So you know who I am. Yes. Good. Naruto Uzumaki Namikaze. Naruto's eyes were. Yes. You are son of Minato Namikaze and Kushina Uzumaki, both of whom are alive and willingly left you here in the village in thoughts that you will be raised with love and care, but they did not know what was waiting for you. And hence, they are now sad, but at the same time, they think that it will be for the best that you have died. What? Naruto said with anger. They thought that I died, it was for the good? Yes. They long said many of the elemental nations have redeemed as a threat and cannot be saved hence. So your job as the new god of destruction of my timeline and the first and only god of destruction is to go there and destroy it. I will do it. Naruto said. Why? Because of revenge? No. Because of, as you said, a threat. They have harmed me. I know firsthand what kind of people they are and what can they do. I don't want that to happen to anyone. And for that, I will put an end to this with my own hands, taking this vendetta in my hands. Good. Now go, my god of destruction, and finish your job. As Naruto then wore new clothes of goddess destruction as he flew there. As the whole elemental nation suddenly felt a huge presence, as they gathered there thanks to Minato's Harishin Kunai's, as did Akatsuki, people of elemental nations. I am Naruto, god of destruction of this universe, and you have been proved as a parasite, leeching off the life force of other domains, and hence by you will be destroyed. Naruto, please don't do this, said Minato. I know who you are, Minato. Those who are Savable will be saved, and only those will be. As some people teleported, Hiruzen, Kakashi, Menma, Natsumi, as well as Fu and every other Jinchuriki, and as well as Konan and Nagato disappeared, as everyone else remained there. And those who were also innocent children and women who were innocent were taken, and so were men's. As the Chirakos were also taken. The innocents have been taken from this world to another world in which your world is going to replace with. And you will all now be destroyed. As Naruto with a single finger created a purple beam that shot down like a droplet towards the crown and destroyed half of the universe, killing half of the populace of Shinobi world. As only half of them remained, on which Menma and the five Kage stood, they were shocked by the mere power. With a single finger, he destroyed half of her forces and world. Is this the power of a god? I guess it is, Rasa. As Naruto flew in front of them, any lost words? Fuck you, said Oniki, as he was the first one to disappear. And then, one by one, all of them were destroyed brutally by Naruto, until his parents were remained. I'm not going to kill you. This is your punishment. You will live here, in isolation. When man meet Natsumi, will live a happy life, finding someone who they love, away from this mess. We, I have told already that domain what have happened to this. You all have my mercy now. As Naruto then left, leaving men Kushina and Minato alone 
in isolation of the half world as all by the lone survivors that they were. They could not have any child nor could they reproduce that was their curse. Live old, die one by one. As one Arthur returned, his, he saw that Xenos and Kenos were waiting there. You have done your job, Naruto. Well done. Would you like to keep the post? I do not want to. This job. I don't want to take anyone's life. The evil has been term terminated. If there is any more, I will pick up this mentality again, my lady, as you wish, Naruto. You are free. You will live here with your family, I presume. Yes, that is my wish that I want to fulfill. To live with my family here and my friends. Naruto said looking at Xenos, who smiled back. Sine, see, Kenos, I told you, I am the cooler one in which Naruto stick by. <sighs> Whatever, Nissan, I'm leaving. As after that, Naruto returned and went back to his normal life. The people and the planet who replaced elemental nations watched a newer generation, and they rebuilt it, their own civilization, which turned into our world now. They, now, the previous elemental nations was only a myth, a story passed down to the children's and so was the stories of God of Destruction, Naruto, the one who brought them into existence, their hero and savior. And they learned one thing, to never go astray, or he will come for them as well, and replace them, as he has replaced their ancestors, the elemental nations. As Naruto was now married to Kefla and as well as Kale, and was expecting to be a father anytime soon now. As many years have been passed and he was still a heartthrob in their eyes, as Naruto loved his wives very much and was living happily with his siblings as well. As this was today's story, I hope you liked this one and if you did then please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel as this is Apollo Uchiha and I'm signing out. Peace!